Hello, I'm Sudip Tuguha and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cleverly and a final year business and computing student here at NTU. And today's topic is about choosing the right subjects for your O-levels and why does choosing the right subjects even matter? I mean, it should be obvious, right? For us English medium students, O-levels is usually the first big exam in our life and it's crucial to choose the right subjects for your future studies and work options. Uh, I mean, it not only decides which subjects you are going to choose for your A-levels, but also which major you may go into in your university and beyond as well. So let's start. Okay, the first question is which subjects are mandatory? Uh, for both Cambridge and Edexcel, uh, you have to take a minimum of five subjects and English language and mathematics are usually compulsory for your O-levels. Uh, However, if you are planning to apply for local universities in Bangladesh, then you need to take Bangla as well, as that's a requirement for them. Uh, also, some schools such as DPS and Sir John Willis, they may require you to take Bangladesh studies as well, but it's better to check with schools like that if any certain schools has a special you know, requirement or not. Are there any limitations to how many subjects you can take? Uh, yes and no. I mean, there is no strict limit on how many subjects you can take. Uh, the number usually depends on your future goals and more importantly, the confidence you have in your academic capabilities. Uh, however, I would say that if you're a private student and not taking the exam with any school, then you, you are usually free to take however and whatever subjects you might want to take. But if you are taking the exam with a particular school, then it's better to check with them you know, how many subjects they recommend or which subjects they have. So, yeah. The next question is, what are the core subjects needed for popular career paths like engineering, medicine and business? If, it, uh, if you're considering a career in STEM field, be it engineering, tech, AI or even medicine, most universities consider physics and mathematics as core subjects. Uh, Although for O levels, chemistry is highly recommended for a stronger foundation. For students aiming for a career in medicine, uh, physics, chemistry, and biology are essential. Um, most medical programs, both in Bangladesh and abroad, require all three sciences. Uh, also, if you're leaning towards a field like biochemistry or environmental sciences, then a combination of biology and chemistry is also very important. For business, there generally are no strict subject requirements. Uh, but if you're a business student, then uh, taking economics, business studies, or accounting can be highly beneficial. Uh, in my time, for my O levels, I didn't take economics and I regret that. So I'll, I personally will highly recommend economics as this helps both in the STEM field or finance everywhere. Is it useful to take economics or accounting with a STEM focused lineup? Uh, yes, just as I said, combining STEM subjects with economics or accounting can be highly beneficial. I mean, this mix is ideal for any career options in like, for example, business analytics, data modeling, uh, or finance, data science, uh, you know, because these fields require both technical and financial knowledge. So for example, economics in particular aligns both analytical and critical thinking together. So that's a very, very good choice for these kind of career options. Uh, what's the best way to balance science and commerce subjects if I'm undecided about my career path? By choosing a mix of subjects from both the streams can keep your options open for both A-levels and beyond. Uh, for science, try to pick foundational subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, maths. Uh, on the commerce side, e economics or business studies. I mean, economics pairs well with maths and is valuable in both science and business, as I said. And this balanced mix you know, lets you explore different areas and which area you might like which area your strengths are in and you know this also shows universities and you know, future employers that you are adaptable and well-rounded. Does taking more subjects add unnecessary pressure or is it, is it manageable? I mean, if you are confident in your ability to handle extra workload then adding a subject or two won't be an issue uh, especially in all levels so if you are confident about yourself then go ahead. Is taking biology beneficial if I don't plan to go into medicine? Uh, Yes, biology can still be beneficial even if you're not aiming for a career in medicine. I mean, biology helps develop skills like data analysis, critical thinking, and most importantly, research. Uh, all of which are you know, valuable in fields like biotechnology, environmental science, 
public health and even business areas related to health or even pharmaceuticals. So, and additionally, biology is often required for in interdisciplinary areas like biochemistry, neuroscience, or physiology or psychology. So, and if you're considering these fields for higher studies, then of course, take biology. Um, however, if your career interests lie in fields like business, like solely business or solely engineering or focused on arts, then try to stay away from biology because that's also adds extra workload if that's not directly relevant for what you're planning to study in the future. How can a student benefit from choosing focused subjects if they're uncertain about their future career path? The students may choose subjects like further math, human bio, psychology, or English literature out of their personal interest. Uh, however, at the same time, these subjects are ideal for students exploring various different career paths, you know, as they offer specialized foundational knowledge in particular fields. Uh, for example, taking further maths isn't for everyone, but if you're planning to take on mathematics intensive subjects or careers in the future, for example, data science, economics, or physics, or engineering, then taking further maths in your O-levels would be really helpful. Uh, same if you're planning to take biology in your A-levels, then taking human biology in your O-levels would really help you a lot. Uh, choosing English literature may also be essential for fields like law, journalism, or even marketing and public relations. Uh, that's it for the questions. Uh, lastly, a general advice would be, although you don't need to have your career paths fully figured out or sorted out right now, uh, because you're probably only near all of us or plus nine even, but it's helpful to have a slight idea as to where you see yourself five years down the line, uh, whether it's uh, in tech, whether it's in engineering, it's in whether it's in medicine or entrepreneurship, just a general sense of the idea of which field we want to pursue in the future. Uh, that's it for this video. And do remember to follow Cleverly's social media pages uh, and keep an eye out for our launch day. And it's coming soon and very soon indeed. Thank you. See you in the next video.